Did you ever wonder what happens after you flush your toilet? It drains from the bathroom sinks and flush toilets into the community's sanitary sewer system, which leads to the public treatment plant. Here, it is joined by millions of gallons of wastewater coming from other homes, businesses, industries, and institutions, and is treated by a variety of processes to remove pollutants. Primary treatment, again, tanks, large rakes on the bottom of these tanks and skimming devices are used to remove 35 to 60 percent of the pollutants. After primary treatment, wastewater still contains solid materials either floating on the surface, dissolved in the water, or both. Under natural conditions, these substances would provide food for such organisms as fungi, algae, and bacteria that live in a stream or lake. This process and further removes 85 to 90 percent of the pollutants. This biological process utilizes air to stimulate the growth of bacteria and other organisms to consume most of the waste material, including nitrogen and phosphorus. Chemicals are used to reduce these pollutants even further. The wastewater is then separated from the organisms and solids, disinfected to kill any remaining harmful bacteria, and released to a nearby lake, river, or stream. After treatment, the cleansed water is released to a lake, stream, or river where it flows toward the Chesapeake Bay and the ocean. It will be used again by other people along the way for irrigation, by industry, as drinking water, or it will evaporate into the atmosphere and return again as rain in some other part of the world. 